Hello and welcome. Let's play some Space Rec. It's currently in pre-early access, which I guess means pre-beta. And we're gonna start a new game. Percon. Hey, you know what? This reminds me of the Interplay logo. Alright, you may find combat unforgiving. This is because it is 100% optional, if you say so. Paris Entertainment presents Latvian role-playing game. Space Rack. This one has voice acting. In the 22nd century, humanity is spread across the solar system. Wild capitalization of the markets has sparked bloody clashes between corporations and asteroid miners, spiraling into anarchy. You are an inexperienced captain, fresh out of the academy on your first voyage. Being a complete outsider to the crew, they don't seem to have much respect for you or your command. To make matters worse, your ship is targeted by asteroid pirates, and the blast of a stray ion torpedo damages the fuel controller chip. Somehow the ship manages to limp away to a nearby space wreck in hopes of finding a replacement. But someone has to go get it. The crew proposes a lottery to determine who will. Despite your status as the captain, you feel compelled to participate. Everyone draws the straws, but you get the short one. They tricked me. You manage to cover only half a distance when your shuttle unexpectedly runs out of fuel. This is such a cute shuttle. Luckily, there is an abandoned space station nearby. You land, hoping to replenish the fuel tanks of the stranded shuttlecraft. So before I get to the wreckage where I actually want to go, I land on a random Air space station. The hatch opens. Stepping outside on broken tiles of the derelict station, you have no idea what to expect. But one thing is clear. There is no way forward without fuel. Ah, yes, yes. All right, here we are. Bulta is my shuttle and I am um, annoying voice over radio. Captain, wake up, you have arrived. The shuttle tanks are completely empty. You must find fuel here. Fuel, got it, let me get ready. And create my character. You exit on an old, dilapidated landing pad. In front of you is a huge metal structure with multiple glass domes. Unfortunately, everything looks damaged and left in total disrepair for decades. We can pick one of three pre-made characters. Online video celebrity Joanne, juvenile offender hacker Noah, or gun enthusiast Peter. Or I can create my own character. Let's check a uh, celebrity. Friendly and outspoken. Joanna believes anything could be solved by communication. <laughs> well liked by friends, popular in school. She also has become quite recognizable online video content creator Joanne. At 75... At 75,000 subscribers and climbing, she hopes to turn hobby into a full-time job at some point. Meanwhile, spacefaring is her parents' wish and would pay the bills for now. Okay... <laughs> wow. Being a captain must be really some kind of a low-grade job in this universe. Play or modify this diplomatic character or back. Let's let's check out the other ones. His family going through unpleasant divorce. Noah did not enjoy much of attention and care from parents while growing up. This led rebellious and angry teen down to dangerous path. He started to skip school, run with a gang on Darknet, and it culminated with criminal charges. His father decided Noah has huge potential to learn and grow, but needs experience and discipline. Therefore, using his influence, enrolled him in Space Academy. All right, and what? What? Oh, okay, that was weird. And finally, gun enthusiast Peter. America! F yeah. Strong and quick Peter was great athlete at school. Okay, we have a lack of articles here. He also was fascinated by guns, guns and guns, collecting them, and since he had no real friends, except guns, target practice became his best pastime. Even though he wanted to pursue military career, Peter's father convinced him to join Space Academy as he had influence there and considered it more respectable choice. 
guns, guns, guns. You know what, let's uh, play or modify this character. Okay, so we get to modify him. So we have gender here, uh, with plus one charm or plus one physical or plus one perception. All right, we have only two skill points and we have lots of attributes. All right, we're gonna just go through everything because this is interesting. So there's PFPCW. So it's not a special system, it's a system. Physical strength and agility, your general physical fitness affects health, HP, melee damage, inventory space and more. Up to 100 HP we can have. Focus, discipline and mental strength, ability to concentrate on the task at hand, affects action points, AP, critical hit chance, combat initiative, melee damage, evasion and more. Perception, eyesight, hearing and the rest of the senses. Intuition and general awareness and ability to quickly assess the situation. Good perception allows you to read people. Effects, conversations, firearm range and map awareness. Charm, like ability of one's persona. The more charming you are, the more forthcoming other people are to you. Ready to listen and even accept your ideas. Effects, first impression, conversations, sex appeal. Just gives you another speech point after a while. Genius is 100% talent and 99% hard work. Don't rely on attributes you are born with. Invest work to improve your skills. Every point in work grants you. This attribute is also directly related to the rate at which you gain XP. Level up and thus improve your skills. Current XP rate 40%. So it basically gives me more skill points and also speeds up how fast I uh, level up. So we're gonna go the non-fighting route because first of all the fighting in this game is kind of buggy, at least it feels a bit buggy. Um, and then charm 4 adds one speech, but I could also just get more work and get one more skill and uh, thus probably be able to upgrade this much better. And also the additional percentages are gonna allow me to uh, do more upgrades quicker I believe. So let's do speech, side tech, I suppose. Not range, not melee. There's pickpocketing, which is cool, but I'm gonna just not do that now. Tinkering, heck, let's go for a well-balanced talking, hacking and crafting guy and lockpicking guy. By the way, we haven't finished reading. HP, of course, is HP or hit points represent my health. If hit points drop to zero or below, guess what? You're in heaven. Action points is essentially your speed. In turn-based combat, every action, move or attack takes certain number of action points. The more you have, the more you will be able to do in your turn. DMG, damage, represents number of hit points. A hit in unarmed combat would cause acts as raw bonus with melee weapons. Evasion indicates how well you can dodge out of harm's way. If you leave spare action points or use counter action in combat, enemy has to roll against your evasion. High evasion can help you avoid taking damage. Carry, maximum carry weight limit. And then stereotypical women have plus one charm. Non-stereotypical non gender features means you are more attentive because there's uh, people trying to bash your head in, I suppose, still in the 22nd century. And stereotypical males have plus one physical bonus. Perception, I guess we're just gonna... Oh yeah, conversations. It's good for conversations, so I guess we're gonna keep that. Alright, speech is your ability to formulate an argument in conversation. High speech allows you to convince the other side, but low speech, on the other hand, corresponds to an introvert, socially awkward person who gets extremely anxious and might be afraid to even ask the simplest thing. SciTech, applied science and modern technology, allows you to interact with increasingly complicated or protected computers even hack them and grant you some familiarity with various technologies found on spaceships. Unlocks blueprints or recipes to be crafted with Tinker. And Tinker is pick apart, repair, modify various mechanisms, lets you pick locks and to determine success when constructing something new. Good Tinker skills also help you maintain your equipment better, heck yeah. Sneak is for moving unnoticed, allowing me to go places where I'm not supposed to be vents maybe and for bypassing hostiles or friendlies without confrontation a great way to avoid combat also determines my success when pickpocketing people melee is close quarters combat skill with weapons like clubs knives and unarmed like fist fight 
does not affect damage, only the chance to hit and range is the ability to hit target with ranged weapons, for example pistols, rifles, range skill plus perception are taken into account for hit over distance, does not affect damage. Alright, we're gonna go with this. Congratulations, subject fit for the position of Captain Engineer. Subject can construct tools and gadgets even out of ordinary junk. 60% engineer, 60% hacker, 75% negotiator, 38% uh, covert operative, I don't think so, and 20% soldier. Red flags, fragile, can die from a single hit, oh boy, combat not recommended. Civilian, absolutely useless in combat with or without a gun. Yep. P.S. Space Academy is legally obliged to inform you that the accuracy of this assessment is 23%. <laughs> Confirm. Yo, we are walking around now. And we can zoom out and in. This is a bit extreme, this zoom. So, Bulta. Really, what is wrong with this zoom level? This is not from 100% to 200%. It's from 100% to maybe 400%. Uh, or rather, from 1 to 25 let me just move over there. We have a space station here. Uh, no, uh, we have a space station all, all, all between us. But there's a spaceship here. Spreditis. What is it doing here? Anyways, let's start walking. In our inventory we have so far a passenger space suit. Uh, basic protection for emergencies. Captain's uniform. Same outfit as per rest of the crew, Captain Suit sports additional subtle insignias. Hey, what if we equip equipped it? R really? Oh, right, right. I'm dying. Well, that was close. Better get some help. Can I get in here? No? Didn't think so. Right, so that was fun. Bulta shuttle bay keycard. Keycard for my Bulta shuttle. Captain's quarters keycard for my room in the Bulta. Will I ever enter it, I wonder? Bulta shuttle key fob. Access key code generator. Without it, you cannot fly the shuttle. Uh, why do I have these items? I wonder. But okay, let's let's go inside. That's a weird kind of room. Hey, there's a computer here. Welcome desk. Uh, Krogus Free Customs South Dock. Krogus Free. Instructions. Note, these instructions are meant both for newcomers to learn and as a reference for existing employees. Ask for ID. Check ID in the database. If there is a red flag, immediately contact the security team downstairs. Check carry-on luggage for weapons and alcohol, drugs and food. Verify account balance. Visitors without peer coins to spare must remain on their ships. Smile. Ask the purpose of the visit. Note down only if out of the ordinary. Explain station layout, outer ring, docking, Temporary cargo exchange services, inner ring or promenade, Deep Space Nine. Shopping, entertainment, recreation. Don't mention it without need, but for your information, lower levels are off limits and upper levels only with invitation. If it is someone from corporate management, direct them to the superintendent Kayo Kainiro. Her office is on the upper levels, access from elevator from space dock N North. If anybody is looking for a staff member, redirect them to the communal bedroom below Spaceport North. Meeting in work areas is strictly forbidden. List a quick overview of the station's facilities. Q market for all kinds of shopping needs. Food, apparel, booze, medicine and other items. Q bar for entertainment. Booze, dance floor, dining tables. VR suits for an exquisite and unique form of entertainment. Uh, holo suits. Book in Q bar. High class clinic for any medical issues. Politely wish a good day. Return. Okay, cool. What about email? Uh, we have two emails. Reminder, please try to delete old emails from your workstations. Remember, less clutter is better. So that explains why there are so few emails. Isn't that nice? K Nero. Be advised. 
Few individual troublemakers from distant mining stations have been known to craft makeshift weapons out of ordinary tools and equipment. One of those weapon types, colloquially known as old drill, is extremely dangerous. It can be fashioned out of just some junk wiring, an atomic battery and standard laser drilling bit. Notify security if anyone tried to bring any of those items with her or him. Please find attached a blueprint document for this weapon as a reference. Keep <laughs> nice, so now I know how to build it. Keep calm and do the job to the best of your ability, Superintendent K. Return. I downloaded the thingy thing. The attachment. I wonder where I can find it. To do. You are stranded on an abandoned space station. Guzoline is the task and must find means to get back on the road and continue your search for the fuel chip. There is a chance this station has some fuel reserves somewhere. Learning the ropes. First day on the job. First pirate attack. First mission to save everybody. Everything is new, but the extraordinary circumstances and position you find yourself in has forced you to learn quickly and adapt. Return. Switch off. Okay, you know what? We're gonna just check real quick out here. Because there's a person floating. Overalls and screwdriver. Well, let's take the screwdriver just in case. Can we... Yeah, we can just float over here. That's cool. Hey, there's a computer here. Let's use that. Public access terminal. Social network global news. Submit request. Turn off. Let's view the board. Could not connect to the Tenka messaging board server. Uh, global news. United Korea threatens China with sanctions. In an unprecedented move, President Sion of the United Korea has warned against China's further advance into Siberia. What? <laughs> As reported earlier, there have been ongoing China military exercises near the city of Haishenwai, close to Russia's eastern border. One of the more prominent players in Belt, Glencore PLC, has announced plans to start mining the 1943 Anteros asteroid for mainly magnesium, silicate, and aluminum. Estimated total worth of the planetoid is 7,570 billion US dollars. Discovered almost a century ago in 13th of March 1973 by American astronomer James Gibson, Anteros is an armor, amor, amor asteroid which approaches the orbit of Earth from beyond but does not cross it. It orbits the Sun at a distance of 1.1 to 1.8 astronomical units once every one year and nine months, 625 days. Okay, that's not very exciting. And now perks and LTD subpoenaed to US Senate hearing. That'll be fun. The chief executive officers of solar mining operation perks and LTD will take the stand on Tuesday to testify again about allegations of inhumane living and working conditions on their stations. As expected, CEO Krizjanis Perkson will stick with the nar narrative that US has no legal jurisdiction on extraterrestrial soil. As reported previously, more and more solar mining companies have been accused of worker exploitation, in inhumane living standards and lack of even the most basic legal protection due to the unique jurisdiction issue outside our planet Earth. Meanwhile, solar mining industry across 18 companies is ranking billions of dollars every year. Tensions in Estonia over English e-immigrants. Relations between wealthy North European micronation Estonia and England are rapidly deteriorating over disputed e-immigrants loophole. When half of Britons voted to exit European Union on June 23rd, uh, 2016, there were warning bells across the globe, but few could have expected ramifications as hard as next half century brought to the former empire. Only six years after the vote, 2020, 
2. Following pandemic of 2020, oh my god, this is so recent. Scotland, angry over Brexit and handling of a COVID-19 outbreak, voted to leave a union, thus de facto breaking allegiance of more than 300 years. Welsh followed 10 years later and at that point Ireland forced unification with Northern Ireland back on the table. Okay, Suffering political, constitutional and economic crisis for years, what was now left of the kingdom, England, could not fight it anymore. These painful successions left a mark both on country's morale and economy. The GDP has slowly been lagging behind former Eastern European bloc countries and this has prompted Englishmen and Englishwomen to emigration to wealthier European Union countries, France, Ireland, Scotland. But in recent years, more and more chose a more unconventional approach, e-immigration. E-Estonia is a small micronation on the coast of Baltic Sea. When Brexit happened, it was called Estonia, but ever since the dawn of the 21st century, or was it 22nd, country, the country has been steadily working for a coveted title of E-Nation, embracing IT in all levels of government. While some argue this is just a PR move, like renaming the country in 2048, nobody can deny the accomplishment of their E-residency, E-citizenship and the rest of the system. And this is exactly what has caused the rift between the small nation and the relic of an empire. Hackers have discovered that there is a loophole in E-citizenship system that allows anybody to enjoy a full spectrum of the state services. And since Estonia provides healthcare for free for its citizens, e-citizens, as well as a number of social programs, the loophole is very valuable. Thousands of Englishmen and Englishwomen fly over Estonia every few months to collect unemployment benefits, request state-backed housing loans and enjoy state-of-the-art health care for free without ever paying a dime in taxes. Needless to say, this is straining the country's budget and also creating social tensions in the country. There is growing contempt against English women and Englishmen, with people calling them Brexits and urging them to leave the country. The hate crimes are on the rise and this has brought the worst of the otherwise very likable nation. Hard to say how long this will continue because while known, these loopholes are hard to patch and they are firmly built into the foundation of the system. Meanwhile, Estonians are growing angrier over perceived freeloaders, but one must ask, while their anxiety may seem just, would it be humane to deny those people a slice of better life? <laughs> okay, way political, way so much text. All right, we're done with reading that and I don't, oh, oh no, we're not done, there's more. That's weird, there are two uh, things I can scroll through in, in one window, that is really, really weird. J. Cayley, there's invisible up, up Rising in the belt. Jonathan Cayley, a GNC journalist known for his expose on solar mining industry, has tweeted that there is apparently rebellion happening in the asteroid belt. However, it is completely invisible to Earthlings because it is so far and the only communication channels, the relay stations, are controlled by the corporations themselves, thus effectively managing the outgoing flow of information. He claims to have received disturbing information from trusted sources about episodes of violent revolt on some of the asteroids, ships and stations in the far reaches of the belt. He is also accusing the Solar Consortium of deliberately withholding information about these occurrences. None of the 18 solar mining companies have responded to this tweet in any way. Okay, we're done. Let's check submit request. Error, request failed, we apologize for any inconvenience caused. Let's fix the issue, we are we have Skytech skills. Ooh, we're gonna throw the dice on that one. Success! It appears there is nothing to fix. This is not a real error, instead there is just a hard-coded message. Apparently it was never possible to submit any request in the first place. Ha 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 Funny. Turn off. Wow, I got a level up. Did I just get a level up for 10 XP? That is freaking awesome. So we can do uh, Tinker, Speech or Sky, SciTech. I guess we're gonna reward SciTech. Nah, let's do... Well, uh, SciTech. What is this? A keypad. This is keypad, apparently for entering pin. Enter random... <laughs> sure. Pin incorrect. Hmm.
Okay, okay, I will not hack. What the heck? Uh, that is way too... Whoopsie, Daisy's far. Run, run, run. Can I... Okay. That was freaking creepy. Whoops. Ah, so slow, so slow, the scrolling speed, so slow. Was that a bug or what? What was that? Okay, let me open this door and get through. Maybe I'll be safe in here. Oh, look at that. There's lots of stuff in here. Let's check out one of these boxes. Uh, electric cartridge casing, RC controller, laser bit, drill bit, junk, trash token, chemicals. What's a trash token? A hex hexagonal piece of metal with a hole in the middle. Chemicals. Let's put them back. Uh, I'm just gonna take a... What was that? Something moved there, didn't it? Oh, it is a door. Why? Person. There's a person there. Through this door. Okay, let's hope they don't kill us. Because we have... Well, we have back... We're back to 18 health. Okay, hello. Some kind of com component. Can we interact? No? Uh, there's a screwdriver here. Seriditis cargo... Hull key card. Let me take that and talk to this guy. But let's talk to him next time. Until then, ciao.